Alright guys, welcome back for more Metroid Prime 1. Uh, we're going to continue off from where we left off, right at the save point, right as we got into Magmore Caverns. So let's go ahead and get things started. Um, next thing we're going to begin to get is actually not in this world, or this area, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's actually in the next area. We just needed the Vario suit just so we could get through um, this heat section, because otherwise there's the next place is basically the opposite of this. It's all icy and stuff. Um, but we had to get the Vario suit because there's no other way to get through to the ice place Vendrana Drifts without going through here first so we're gonna go ahead and take care of this we are not gonna be in here much longer um but yeah do 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 I love the music in this place haha <laughs> missile cancelling these things are so annoying to take down without missile cancelling well, at least until you get the ice beam, and then it's ridiculously easy. Ah, uh, I forgot about those platforms sinking. <laughs> I also hate these things. Because they leave, like, poisonous gas. I hate to pull their finger. Ah, ha! Eh, never mind. I love how the head just randomly explodes, but the rest of it just flails around. I don't know, I find that pretty funny. My sadistic sense of humor. What am I doing dropping bombs over here? Die bomb poison things. Mm -hmm. Kidoki. Do 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 I hate this part because these things are really freaking stupid. I hate these things. Triclopses. Oh god. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, you gotta wait. Go, go away. Yeah, you gotta dodge these little crab things. And they're retarded because if they grab you, they'll pull you to the ed uh, exit of that marble section. Or the entrance. Ah, Steam. And not the PC game thing. Downloading service, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I don't use Steam. I don't play PC games. Okay, screw all the poison balls. Here I can actually dodge them. <clears throat> God, my throat's all scratchy again. It, it's so weird. Like, every time I drink something lately, my throat gets even scratchier afterwards. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Oh, God, I forgot about the security, yeah, security cameras. I'm standing right in poisonous gas. I am smart. Die. Yay. Okay. Now that the security cameras are gone. But yeah, we're almost done with uh, what we needed to get done in Magmar Caverns already. What? More security cameras? Are you kidding me? Aha. Feel thy known wrath. And that jump always makes me nervous, but it's not like if you fall, it does much. I think we're just going in here, so. There's an elevator right in here, this is the right way. If it's not, if there isn't, well, then we'll have to figure something else out, won't we? Oh, there's an energy tank in here, I forgot. Gotta do a double bomb jump, which is so much crap <laughs> easier now. There we go. There we go. Now let's just break through this. Which takes two bombs for some reason. They couldn't just make it one. I guess in case you act... Well, I guess it's because in the original game you needed two bombs at the bottom of the double jump to be able to double bomb jump. So I guess that's why. Yeah. That's thinking Retro Studios. The only thing I wish Retro Studios would do now is make like a console Wii version of like Hunter's... like with the online that it had and then like add the hunters from Metroid Prime 3 as playable characters they'd be so awesome oh well but yeah here we are in Fendrana Drifts which also has very nice music but this is again the ambient kind of music not like actual big epic musical score kind of thing but yeah and it has to show us a stupid little cutscene just to tell us that we're in Fendrana Drifts oh well
pretty snow. Stuff like this with all this snow on screen really, I think, shows off how much processing power the uh, GameCube had. Not that this is the GameCube version, but, you know, this was a GameCube game originally. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, this is one part that a lot of people get stuck on that I talk to that try to play this game without, like, any help right off the bat. Because they don't know that that grate is able to be blown up. So they don't go back there. And I can't get back up. Um, so they can't hit that switch, which makes... What happens again? Something about a platform moving or something. Um... Yeah, there's something in there, but we can't get it yet. Actually, we can't get that for a long while, actually. Not till like, the end of the game. And I might come back and get it, because you do have to come back for one of the artifacts here. Um, once you have the weapon that you need to get that one, or that missile expansion. So I might come back to get it. I might not. If I don't, too bad. Alright, that little switch I don't need to hit yet, actually. I don't think. That's later. This thing you can't kill yet, because you don't have the right beam. So just roll through it or take the damage, I don't really care. Alright, and this part, these things, when I was like 9 and I first got this game, these things scared the living daylights out of me. They really aren't that threatening, really. Um, I don't know why I'm not missing canceling it. But basically you have to snap off their shell and then, um, you can't hit them from the- What the heck? Am I st I'm stuck on it. Oh, I got stuck on the dead one. Basically just hit it in the back with missiles or whatever you want. And then shoot it once with a good missile in the back and it'll die. That probably just got all jumbled together in a mess of words. But I don't really care. Come on. There we go. Let's go over here. Okay. That noise right there. I said I was going to point this out. You hear that little humming noise? That is the noise of a missile expansion or an energy tank or some kind of uh, upgrade. Whenever you hear that noise, make sure you look around for one, but that one we can't get to yet because we need another upgrade that we don't have yet. They tease you a lot with these. It's like, hey, here's an upgrade that you can't have yet, you bastard. Eh, oh well. What you gonna do? Alright, screw these things. I hate trying to kill... Wow. Right as I'm saying I hate trying to kill these things, I kill one just randomly firing. Yeah, they just kind of pop out of the ground. You can only hit them when they're popping out of the ground, and it's really annoying. I really hope this is the right way. This might be the way to the next expand or the next upgrade. Wait a second. Um. Okay, this is right. Never mind. I'm freaking out over nothing. At least I'm pretty sure this is the right place. Yeah, and be careful, those little, uh, they're called Shegoths, those little icy creatures that I was killing earlier. They do have a projectile attack, so be careful. That's the best time to get them when they think you're not there, and then they turn around. This is one other, other area where missile canceling comes a great help. Alright, yeah, this is right where we're headed. Right through here. Screw you, because this is easy mode and it barely, or normal mode. They technically don't have an easy, because I guess that would make people think they suck at this game or something. Yep, this is the right place, okay. I was starting to worry there for a second. Alright, there's another one. Let's try not to wake that one up. I don't think we have to wake that one up. Did I just... And then I wake it up. Wonderful. Oh, we have to go down there anyway. Okay. Such a waste of missiles, but whatever. Alright, then we go up here. Yeah, doesn't this look fun? Some good platforming action, I believe. Yay! Platforming! In a first-person game! This reminds me of Mirror's Edge. Oh, wait. I thought I'd never... I said I'd never speak of that game again. Ugh. I know a lot of people like that game, but... Oh, God, I hated it so much. That's one of those games that people say is good, and I just don't see it. 
I mean, the first couple levels was fu were fun, and the last level was fun. But, like, the whole rest of it, it's like... Okay, I thought this was going to be, like, an exciting skyscraper running kind of thing. Which was the last level, basically, and the first couple levels. But, like, the whole middle of it was just, like, inside buildings where half the time you don't even know where you're going. It's all these cramped places. And there isn't much, much room for uh, improvisation. And it just... I don't know. It was really boring to me. Alright, now we have the boost ball, which when you hold the B button and let it go, you can do a boost, and it helps you get up these half-pipe sections. Um, they're actually pretty cool. 